Good morning. My name is Joe Ergo. It's my distinct honor to serve as Chancellor of the University of North Carolina, Asheville, and it's an even greater honor to convene today's graduation ceremony. I cannot think of a more glorious place to be right now. I am delighted to welcome the class of 2018, family members, faculty, staff, alumni, friends, and distinguished guests of this celebration. Members of the class of 2018, we are very proud of you and your many accomplishments. As we begin today's ceremony, please remain standing as our student singer, Loden Lewick, member of the class of 2018, comes to the platform to lead us in America the Beautiful. Oh, beautiful for gracious skies or amber waves of grain, for purple mountains, majesty above the fruited plains. America, America, God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good in brotherhood from sea to shining sea. Thank you, Logan. Please be seated. Commencement is a day of celebration. Today we celebrate and honor the class of 2018. As we celebrate each of you, we're also celebrating the university's 90th anniversary. The seeds for UNC Asheville were planted in 1927 when community members came together and identified the need for an institution of higher education in Western North Carolina. We've certainly come a long way from the first class of 29 graduates to what is likely a record-breaking class this year. From our youngest graduate at this spring age of 17 to our oldest graduate at age 72, we celebrate and recognize all of you. Levo oculus meos in montes. I lift my eyes to the mountains. Graduates, if you turn around, you can do the same. This is a glorious sight. This is not only the UNC Asheville motto, but also serves as a reminder to look to what inspires you and to appreciate the greatness of what lies before you. Class of 2018, you have challenged and inspired us in the classroom, in the community, in the labs, on athletic fields and courts, in the theater, in the galleries, and even in the lobby of Lipinski. Graduates who have returned to school after many years have completed their bachelor's degree this year, bringing to the classroom professional and life experiences that add richness to the discussion and underscore the importance of lifelong learning. You've completed research projects, internships, you've built robots, you've joined honor societies, ran for office, organized movements, protested, created works of visual and spoken art. You've danced, you sang, you scored goals and snatched rebounds, you set and broke school records, and you've had champion seasons. Go Bulldogs! You have put your time and energy and your education to good work, and today we celebrate the reaps of what you have done. We are grateful for the time we have had together and thankful that you have been with us. Now, while we rejoice in the company of those who are with us today, I know from talking with many of you graduates along, that along the road to today, you have lost loved ones and are missing them very much. All of us hold in our hearts and the memory of family members, friends, and mentors who have helped us realize dreams, accomplish goals, and have now passed away from this earth. In recognition of all whom we love and miss today, please join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. Commencement is a culmination of years of academic work and accomplishments. It's also made up of the work of many, many members of the UNC Asheville community who have put great energy and care into making this celebration a very special day. Would you please join me in a round of applause for the talented and hardworking staff in campus operations, grounds, ITS, student affairs, Residence Life, Academic Affairs, One Stop, Enrollment Services, Communication and Marketing, Public Safety, Advancement, Dining Service, the Commencement Committee itself, and the Events and Conference Offices, who have worked with great energy and enthusiasm to make this day of celebration possible. Let's give them a round of applause. I 
I would like to acknowledge the faculty and staff of UNC Asheville for your passion, your energy, and your time. Thank you for the important and inspiring work that you do and for your commitment to delivering a world-class education. The work that the faculty do shapes lives. The work that they do enriches our collective future. Faculty give of their time and expertise generously without hesitation as we continue to build and shape the future of UNC Asheville and mold each class. Whether guiding undergraduate research, organizing and hosting conferences, serving as academic advisors, directing student productions, engaging with our schools and neighborhoods and communities on complex and important issues, leading international study programs, curating art exhibits, publishing papers, discovering new snakes, writing books, conducting concerts, advising one of our many clubs and organizations, or simply sharing insights over a cup of joe. Faculty encourage students to explore their interest, to take advantage of every educational opportunity available to them, and to pursue their passion with their students. Your students know that they can count on you, they respect you, they love you, and they know that you want the best for them and for them. Our dedicated staff and administrators work in partnership with the faculty. No matter what the role or assignment, day and night, 24 hours, seven days a week, our talented, creative, hardworking staff go beyond and beyond to make UNC Asheville a place where students grow, learn, and achieve powerful results. Staff members serve as wise advisors, coaches, and mentors. They recruit and support our students. They solve problems. We make our campus shine and carve out spaces of natural beauty all over this beautiful campus. You serve us with distinction. I know you share my pride and affection for the class of 2018. I invite faculty, staff, and administrators to please stand so that our graduates and their families and friends can recognize and thank you. This commencement marks the retirement of 13 beloved faculty members with a combined 301 years of service. I'd like to ask all, please stand as we thank you for your dedicated service to the university. Retiring faculty, would you please stand? At UNC Asher, we are fortunate to be served by five volunteer boards, the Bulldog Athletic Board, the UNC Asher National Alumni Council, the UNC Asher Parents Council, the UNC Asher Foundation Board, and the UNC Asher Board of Trustees. These volunteers bring with them an array of academic, civic, and professional expertise. They are stewards, champions, and advocates for UNC Asher. Thank you, trustees, and thank you for the representatives from the UNC Asher Alumni, Parents, Athletic, and Foundation Boards. Your support, guidance and friendship makes all the difference to us. I ask that you all please stand and be recognized for your many contributions to the life and success of UNC Asheville. I am now pleased to invite Kenan Briggs, Kenan Briggs, Chair of the UNC Asheville Board of Trustees, to the podium to bring greetings from the trustees. Good morning. Interim Chancellor Ergo, distinguished members of the platform party, friends and family. It is truly with immense pride that I take this opportunity to congratulate and address our graduating seniors, you, on behalf of the Board of Trustees. To the graduates, I join thousands of UNC Asheville alumni, this scholar, scholarly faculty, and stellar staff your friends and families, and we're assembled here today to congratulate and celebrate your achievement, if you will, in completing your respective degrees. Your experiences here at UNC Asheville, long past this fleeting moment, will serve you well as you go forward in life from this place to either further education or to the world of work. In just a few moments, you're going to walk across this very platform and receive your degrees, degrees that have real value. They enable you to embrace your future, whatever pathway you may choose to walk after today. I'm confident, very confident, that you've been intellectually strengthened by the investment of your time and talent here at UNC Asheville, and have benefited from the devotion of a learned faculty who put teaching and learning at the core of everything that they do. You've witnessed that. 
You and they together make this the state of North Carolina and among the nation's leading liberal arts institution. But as you leave us, you become the newest faces and graduates of this great institution and you become those faces to the world. You will demonstrate each day for the rest of your lives the value of a public liberal arts education. As a graduate of UNC Asheville, it is therefore your responsibility to take the critical thinking and problem solving skills you've developed here to improve both society and the quality of life for so many people that you'll come into contact with. Do not take this responsibility lightly, rather embrace it. I challenge each of you to make a difference in your community, in your state, and in this nation at this important time. Once again, on behalf of the Board of Trustees at UNC Asheville, congratulations graduates on your tremendous success to evidence today. We know, we know that you will represent this university with great honor and the work that you will do will be meaningful and have value and contribute much to humankind. Again, thank you and congratulations. The University of North Carolina system is governed by a board of governors comprised of volunteer leaders from across the state of North Carolina. It is with great pleasure that I introduce Carolyn Coward, a member of the board of governors with a strong native Western North Carolinian perspective and an outstanding record of service to the region. Carolyn has been great, a great champion of public higher education in North Carolina. She is with us today to bring greetings and present the 2018 Board of Governors Award for Excellence in Teaching. Thank you and good morning. Good morning. On behalf of the University of North Carolina Board of Governors, and UNC President Margaret Spellings, it is my great pleasure to bring greetings to this faculty, staff, and alumni of this great university, to the Board of Trustees, members of the Platform Party, and Chancellor Ergo, and most of all, to the graduates and their families who have worked so hard to earn this day. Welcome to all of you. Graduates, Congratulations. We're all gathered here today to celebrate what you've achieved and look ahead to the opportunities that await you. These last few years have been both a gift and a test, offering you the chance to read and debate and perform and discuss at one of the finest liberal arts colleges anywhere in this country. That kind of intensive experience asks a lot of you but you've gotten a lot in return. You leave the University of North Carolina at Asheville able to think sharply, to act confidently, and to call upon relationships and skills that will carry you far in a complex and demanding world. A little luck helps too, which is why I made sure to stop by old Rocky over there on my way to campus this morning. You've already had one incredible stroke of good fortune, and that's studying alongside some of the most talented faculty members anywhere in this state. I would say anywhere in the United States. People who have devoted themselves to the service of teaching and mentoring. To recognize that commitment, it's my privilege this, to present this year's Board of Governors Award for Excellence in Teaching, which was established in 1994 to reward great teachers across the university. The rewards are given annually to tenured faculty members from each of North Carolina's public universities, following nominations by a committee of faculty colleagues and close review by the Board of Governors. And this year's recipient <laughs> from the University of North Carolina at Asheville is Dr. Burt Holmes. <laughs> Chancellor. <laughs> Chancellor Ergo, Provost Corin Peterson, and Dr. Holmes, would you come forward? As the 
as the Philip G. Carson Distinguished Chair of Science and Professor of Chemistry, Dr. Holmes has worked at UNC Asheville since 1990. His he started at 16. <laughs> His teaching philosophy involves providing students with the capacity to ask questions, to be problem solvers, and he focuses his classroom engagement on the process of science rather than the facts of science. He is committed to cultivating in students the capacity to be a peer, a critic, and a colleague of the teacher, and believes in the importance of putting students in challenging learning environments where difficulties abound and easy solutions are very rare. Dr. Holmes came to UNC Asheville after beginning his career at Ohio Northern University and Lyon College because he believes that one-on-one -on -one student research with a faculty mentor is the best, most effective form of chemistry education. His successful teaching record is based on his commitment to in-classroom instruction and utilizing research as another vehicle of excellent teaching. Dr. Holmes, is also a recognized leader in the pedagogy of undergraduate research as co-author of a book commissioned by the Council on Undergraduate Research titled, How to Get Started in Research at Undergraduate Institutions. He travels each year to other universities and colleges to evaluate and provide advice about their undergraduate research programs. Dr. Holmes exemplifies the terminology teacher-scholar and is well respected by students, colleagues on campus, and in the chemical community. Decades of student comments consistently remark on his passion for education, his knowledge of the field, and the way he allows students room to discover solutions on their own instead of simply giving the answer. Dr. Holmes, for your deep commitment to your students and this university, I am proud to honor you with the 2018 Board of Governors Award for Excellence in Teaching. In recognizing you, we also thank, give thanks for the more than 14,000 dedicated faculty who teach throughout the University of North Carolina. Congratulations, Dr. Holmes, and we'll now return to our seats. Okay. <laughs> thank you, Carolyn, for your leadership, and thank you, Dr. Holmes, for making such a profound difference at this university. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Patrick Fu, Associate Professor of Psychology. Dr. Fu was the recipient of the 2017 Distinguished Teaching Award and has the honor of presenting this year's award. Good morning. For a university whose mission emphasizes exemplary instruction, the 2018 Distinguished Teacher of the Year should come as no surprise. For over 15 years, our winner has worked to improve education both locally and internationally. This year's winner has shown a tireless commitment to continually renew and improve their knowledge and pedagogy in their discipline. Colleagues describe her as kind, patient, and responsive. They report that students easily connect with her, and they respond with creative and productive work. In the past five years alone, our recipient has published 17 articles, two book chapters, and has presented 30 times both nationally and internationally. Our recipient has taught classes across the UNC Asheville curriculum, contributing to service learning, diversity intensives, and to the liberal arts core. She has served on the Faculty Senate, APC, and Faculty Assembly. She has been instrumental in developing and maintaining a strong connection between our ivory tower and the larger Asheville community, and currently serves as chair of the Department of Education. 
In addition, our winner has recently been elected as president of the International Association for Mid-Level Education. In a world where explicit and implicit cognitions can introduce unseen biases in student ratings, her students are consistent in their praise. They champion her innovative pedagogy, her commitment to their success, and her expertise gained from four times leaving UNC Asheville to teach real life middle schoolers, something that probably terrifies you as much as it does me. These are challenging times for education in our state and nation. So Nancy Rupert's support of her students continues well past graduation. She regularly blogs and reaches out and checks in with her alumni as they establish their budding careers. Dr. Rupert's positive philosophy of service says it best. In her own words, we cannot teach in isolation in a classroom. We must contribute to the world, our knowledge, our passion, our hope, and our stories. We must be advocates to one another. We could not agree more. Please join me in congratulating the 2018 Distinguished Teacher of the Year, Dr. Nancy Rupert. Congratulations, Nancy. The A.C. Reynolds Award and the Thomas D. Reynolds Prize are presented to a graduate who has demonstrated outstanding service to the campus community. This year, we recognize Tim Hussey. Tim, please stand to be recognized. <clears throat> Tim is a senior psychology and sociology double major from Greenville, North Carolina. Since starting UNC Asheville in the fall of 2014, he has served in several different leadership roles on campus. Freshman year, he served as student caller in the telephone outreach program with advancement and was later promoted to student supervisor during sophomore year. He has been a resident assistant in Mills Hall for the past two years, where he also served as the resident assistant of the first Asheville Advantage Living Learning Community. Tim has been a mentor for the past years for the Connections Peer Mentoring Program, as well as a member of the Black Student Association. Last year, he was elected to serve as student body vice president of the Student Government Association. During his time as vice president, he was able to pursue several diversity-related issues and host Black Lives Matter, The Revival, a week-long collaborative series of events that focused on the Black Lives Matter movement and its impact on this campus. For this event, he won three awards. Collaboration of the Year at the Student Leadership Awards and Collaboration of the Year and Outstanding Diversity Program of the Year at the Multicultural Student Leadership Awards. Tim, along with his three of his student government colleagues, have also won Delegation of the Year from the Association of Student Governments. This award is given to one student government association in the UNC system annually, voted on by their peers from each of the 16 other institutions. This year, he served as a student body president as well as student member on the Board of Trustees and on the UNC Asheville Foundation Board. He was also a programming supervisor for Highsmith Student Union, working with student organizations. Tim and his team of students have done tremendous work at UNC Asheville, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement and revival, programs that truly had an impact on this campus. Tim will attend Elon University in the fall and begin graduate work in the field of student affairs. I am very pleased to recognize Tim as this year's recipient of the A.C. Reynolds Award and the Thomas D. Reynolds Prize for Campus Service. Tim, congratulations. Tim also went to class on a regular basis. <laughs> Karen Peterson, Acting Provost, and Darren Waters, Special Assistant to the Chancellor for Community Engagement, will now present the William and Ida Friday Award and the Manley Wright Award. Thank you, Chancellor Erko. The, the William and Ida Friday Award honors the outstanding graduate who serves the larger community. 
This year, we honor Olivia Godfrey. Olivia, please stand to be recognized. During her, during her college career, Olivia has served as a student intern for the Land of the Sky Council Area, Aging, Area Agency on Aging, as a service learning student for UNC Asheville Health and Wellness Promotion, Asheville Buncombe Institute of Parity Achievement, also known as ABIPA, and she has served as a lear service learning student in the UNC Asheville Health, Healthy Aging Program Initiative Lab, and in that lab, the lab's wellness activities for seniors in Asheville program. Olivia is also a member of the American Association of <laughs> University Women, an American Red Cross water safety instructor, and certified in first aid for professional rescuers. She has worked, with, worked as a Bacchus peer educator in the student affairs administrators in higher education, and served as a student member of the UNC Asheville Undergraduate Research, Pro Research Advisory Council. I am pleased to recognize Olivia as this year's recipient of the William and Ida Friday Award. Congratulations, Olivia. As if being the recipient of the William and Ida Friday Award wasn't enough, Olivia Godfrey is also the recipient of the Manley White Wright Award presented annually to the graduate who ranks first in scholarship. By tradition, the Manley Wright Award recipient will be the last student to receive her degree and it will be presented on a silver platter. <laughs> Olivia graduates today with a BS in psychology and will be pursuing a Master's of Arts in Experimental Psychology at Appalachian State University this fall, working under a grant from the National Institute on Aging to research cognition, memory, and health in older adulthood. Olivia is an exceptional student, having earned an, earned an overall GPA of 3.970 here at UNC Asheville, with a 4.0 GPA in both her major of psychology and minor in health and wellness promotion. Olivia has received the following awards and accolades, honors program, departmental distinction in psychology, university scholar, university research scholar, Laurel scholarship, Chartwell's leadership award for health and wellness promotion, Asheville Rotary scholarship, Edward, Edward Tolbin Award for Outstanding Achievement in Research, and most recently, the William and Ida Friday Award for Community Service. The committee noted her excellence in the classroom, breadth of coursework across two disciplines, and demonstrated interest and abilities in scholarship. Olivia began conducting research in her second semester, worked as a research assistant on several other projects, and is currently involved in two research projects in her department. She has presented her work at three different conferences and meetings. Olivia has also been involved in the community through both service learning projects in health and wellness promotion and psychology, and is a consistent and dedicated community service volunteer. To echo the closing remarks in her support letter, quote, Olivia truly embraces the spirit of the university and the liberal arts experience. That's why we are pleased to have her as our student speaker today. Welcome to Olivia. Good morning. As I, stand, as I stand in front of you all today, I'm overwhelmed with joy and gratitude. We are here to celebrate each member of this graduating class for their accomplishment, perseverance, and grit. UNC Asheville is a unique institution because our devotion to the liberal arts allows students to explore many aspects of the human experience and the world around us, and each graduate today will have a personal narrative about how their coursework and community experiences have been meaningful and purposeful. As I look around at you, I see the faces of many friends whose stories will deservedly be told with great pride. 
The growth and development of our students is facilitated by the devotion of talented faculty members. And I would like to express my gratitude for the professor that helped me develop my academic purpose. She has been a fierce advocate for her students for many years, and her commitment to diversity and equity can be seen in the learning outcomes of her students and mentees. During freshman orientation, I visited the psychology department table and chatted with Dr. Melissa Smith about my interest in majoring in the program. Two months later, I was sitting in her developmental psychology classroom with a growing appreciation for research in human behavior, health, and mental processes. Dr. Smith gave me the opportunity to conduct independent undergraduate research and mentored me through the grant application, presentation, and publication process for our project. Dr. Smith, as your advisee and student, I cannot thank you enough for what you have done to help me succeed. I am ever grateful for the faculty that have mentored me in research and service learning, including Dr. Garby in health and wellness and Drs. Himmeline and Nealon in psychology. It is not often that we knowingly have so much in common with so many people in our presence at one time. And I hope that our shared experience at this institution will guide us in becoming meaningful citizens in the world. Pablo Neruda, Nobel Prize winning poet and incredible advocate for the well-being of humanity, wrote in his Autumn Testament, quote, to hate, I'll leave my own horseshoes, my sailor's shirt, my traveler's shoes, my carpenter's heart, all things I did well and which helped me to suffer, the strong, clear things I had, permanent and passing, so that it dawns on the world that those who have trees and water can carve ships, set sail, can go away and come back, suffer and love, have fears, do work, be and go on being, turn misery into account, wait for a flower's coming, in a word, to live, end quote. It is my hope that we will all live as Neruda suggests and be guided by our compassion and respect for all persons in making change for our communities. With our votes, our time, our conversations with each other, and our intellectual and creative products. As the next chapters in your lives begin today, I hope that you all find fulfillment and purpose in the tasks that you pursue. A last note on Neruda, who moved around the world after his exile from Chile, where he would later return and serve as a leader. He wrote in the, in the saddest century, quote, I too knew homelessness, but as a seasoned wanderer, I returned empty handed to this sea that knows me so well. But others remain and are still at bay, leaving behind their loved ones, their errors, but knowing never again. And this is how I ended up sobbing the dusty sob intoned by the homelessness. This is the way that I ended celebrating with my brothers, those who remain, the victorious building and the harvest of new bread, end quote. Recent events in Asheville have shed light on those seeking justice and refuge. Police brutality, raids by immigration and customs enforcement, and senseless violence among the members of the local community. I will leave you today with a call to action. To listen to the stories of those affected most by our institutions, policies, and interpersonal actions, and to organize with your communities to develop strong solutions to today's problems. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors, and know that there are only good things to come for each of us. Thank you. Congratulations, Olivia. Very well done. Would Kenan Briggs, Chair of UNC Asheville Board of Trustees, and Karen Peterson, Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, join me at the podium? This year, we recognize three individuals who have made a significant difference in their professions, their communities, and beyond, and in all of our collective good. They inspire, and today, we honor them. Etta Whitner Patterson, will you please join me at the podium? Etta Whitner Patterson, as a leader, teacher, and activist, you have been a shining example for our community. Etta Whitner Patterson was born and raised in Nashville's historic East End neighborhood, a student at the segregated Stevens Lee High School in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Etta became one of the leaders of ASCOR, the Asheville Student Committee on Racial Equality, and served as the group's second president. 
Inspired by the message of nonviolence and love of Martin Luther King Jr., the students of ASCOR work to dismantle segregation in Asheville's public institutions through peaceful protest. In the fall of 1961, she became the first black student admitted to Asheville Biltmore College, UNC Asheville's predecessor institution. She was selected by leaders in the community to attend the college as a representative of the black community, an enormous responsibility and challenge. After her time at Asheville Biltmore College, she married and moved to Greenville, South Carolina, where she continued her work in activism and service. And so, Etta Whitner Patterson, in recognition of your leadership, your activism, benefiting the people of Western North Carolina, the Board of Trustees of the University of North Carolina Asheville is proud to award you the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Thank you, Etta. Congratulations. S. Tucker Cook, would you please join us at the podium? We're coming. Okay. <laughs> you want to stay there? Stop there. You guys can go to him. Yeah. Yeah. S. Tucker Cook, you have never stopped contributing, both personally and professionally, to this university, to the Department of Art and Art History and UNC Asheville. You continue to embody excellence in mentorship and service, significantly shaping and influencing many generations of creative minds and their potential for innovation. You make amazing work, and what you have always done is to make a tremendous difference in the lives of your colleagues and your students. S. Tucker Cook joined the art faculty of Asheville Biltmore College in 1966. During his four decades at the university, including more than 30 years as department chair, he was instrumental in expanding the art department in both size and rational reputation. In 1995, he received the Distinguished Teaching Award from the university. In 2000, Tucker was awarded the North Carolina Award in Fine Arts, the highest award a civilian may receive from the governor of North Carolina. He held the first UNC Asheville Distinguished University Professorship awarded in 2004 when he began the community-wide mural project the School of Athens, currently on view in Highsmith Union. This full-scale reproduction of the 16th century Vatican fresco by Raphael features two UNC Asheville Bulldogs added to the scene. The 2007 mural is thought to be one of the largest recreations of the School of Athens in the world. In 2017, he was presented with the inaugural Founders Award by UNC Asheville students and faculty. And so, S. Tucker Cook, in recognition of your professional achievements, your tireless commitment and ongoing contributions and excellence in mentorship and service, the Board of Trustees of the UNC North Carolina at Asheville is proud to award you the degree of Doctor of Fine Arts. Thank you, Tucker. Congratulations. Bill Murdoch, would you please join us at the podium? There you are. <laughs> Bill Murdoch, as visionary, community leader, you have made a significant and enduring impact on the lives of countless families in Western North Carolina and beyond. William J. Murdoch is the co-founder and CEO of Eblin Charities and the Eblin Center for Social Enterprise, an award-winning organization dedicated to helping families with medical and emergency assistance. Eblin Charities helps hundreds of thousands of families in Western North Carolina with heating, housing, education, hunger, and health issues each year, regardless of income. The organization has received numerous awards for its work, including the Peter F. Drucker Award for Nonprofit Innovation, for the Eblin Children's Pharmacy in 2001, as well as a national recognition by the New York Times and Public Broadcasting Service. In 2014, Bill was awarded the Mother Teresa Global Prize for Peace and Leadership, and he is the author of several books, including Finding Your Own Calcutta, 
living a life of service and meaning in a selfish world, and in the final analysis, Mother Teresa's enduring message to all who serve. And so, Bill Murdoch, in recognition of your professional achievements, your commitment to the families of North Carolina, and your service to the city, state, and beyond, the Board of Trustees of the University of North Carolina, Asheville, is proud to award you the Doctor of Humane Letters. Congratulations and thank you, Bill. It is now my pleasure to introduce you as Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters and this year's commencement speaker. Good morning. Chancellor Ergo, members of the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, distinguished guests, parents, family members, and certainly the 2018 graduates of University of North Carolina Asheville. I want to again extend my gratitude for this wonderful invitation to spend a few minutes here with you on what I know is going to be one of the most important and certainly memorable and momentous days of your life. So, and certainly, along with the other honorary degree recipients, uh, we're honored to be admitted to this fellowship of this wonderful and distinguished university and receive this illustrious degree in just a matter of a few minutes that took you all more four years or so to get. It's an honor that I could not have imagined. But in preparation for this morning, I was thinking about the various graduations that I had been through and the various speakers, to see if I could remember some words of wisdom, something that I could glean, that I could share, that they shared with us. And to be totally honest with you, I couldn't remember a single thing. And which uh, makes me think that whatever uh, is shared here today in these next few minutes, you probably won't remember the, through the time that you walk across the stage. But I do have one hope, however. When I moved here in uh, sixth grade with my grandparents, shortly afterwards, an elderly gentleman who lived up the street had passed away. And my, my grandparents didn't know him, but uh, they went to the service all the same to be a good neighbor. And there was a young minister there who was presiding over the funeral. And he had just moved there as well, so he didn't know Mr. Thompson. And Mr. Thompson wasn't a really nice guy. He was, he was always calling the sheriff if the kids were playing in his yard, somebody left their uh, garbage can out too long, pretty much making the neighborhood miserable for everyone. So when it came time to the eulogy, this young minister uh, felt a little bit uncomfortable because he didn't know Mr. Thompson. And so he asked, is there anyone here that would like to come up and say something nice about Mr. Thompson? And nobody moved. So he said, well, it might be a little embarrassing. You might be uncomfortable coming up you know, to the pulpit. So why don't you stand where you are? Just a, a, a nice story, a kind remembrance. Anyone would like to say something about Mr. Thompson? Total silence. So almost panicking, he said, surely there has to be someone here that can say something nice about Mr. Thompson. And finally, another elderly gentleman at the very back of the church stood up and grabbed the pew in front of him and kind of steadied himself. And the minister said, thank you, sir. So what, what nice thing do you have to say about Mr. Thompson? And he said, his brother was worse. <laughs> so uh, what I'm hoping is, uh, if you leave here today, you know, I don't remember a thing that guy said, but, I, but I'm sure I've heard worse. I'm going to tell you just two, two quick stories, and, and then they won't take long. Uh, one, is, one is mine, and one is uh, about a wonderful woman that was a friend of mine a, a number of years ago. When I graduated from T.C. Robertson High School, I had no clue what I wanted to do. So being ill-prepared for college, I took a job with Pizza Hut. And that's not the corporation Pizza Hut, that was a Pizza Hut. Uh, the one down in Biltmore, if you all know where Moe's is in Biltmore, that, that used to be the Pizza Hut. And uh, I worked there for 18 months as a cook and a waiter, and I never once in those 18 months received employee of the month. I mean, I mean really, how bad do you have to be to be working at pizza with five people? And, and they weren't the same five people every week because someone was always either uh, quitting or getting fired or, or just not showing up. So the last month I was there, it was between me and one other guy. And so Mike was our manager, and he pulled that tape off of the, uh, the plaque, and it was this other guy's name. And I said, Mike, Jim doesn't even work here anymore. <laughs> I said, you fired him two weeks ago for stealing. 
and he beats me out for employee of the month. Now, you know, I'm not, it wasn't like going after the Nobel Prize or anything. And he said, well, it was close. <laughs> and then he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, Bill, you're just not Pizza Hut material. <laughs> so please keep in mind, whatever you hear today is coming from a guy that just wasn't Pizza Hut material. Mm. But I, I spend my days now working with, with, an, with an amazing group of clients, staff, volunteers, board members, uh, in reaching out to the community to, to those in need. And it was, it was an organization that I was fortunate enough to be there at the beginning of with the late Joe Eblen. And uh, Joe actually uh, passed away just five years ago uh, yesterday. And we started with $400 we received from a yard sale. And now we help tens of thousands of families every single year, as Dr. Ergo said, with housing and with heating and clothes and, and teacher housing, uh, tremendous food programs we have with, with our close friends and, and, and co-founders, uh, Joe and Janice Brummett with the Arby's Joyful Holidays at Home, which has uh, given uh, more than two million meals in, in three year time period here in our community. But in the beginning, I, I had no idea what path my life was going to take. I had no idea what uh, what journey that I was going to be on, or what, what I, where I would end up, would have such an impact on so many lives, but especially my own. And I think there's a good chance today that a lot of you here might be wondering the same thing. You're not sure where your journey will eventually take you, or that thread of the narrative of your life is going to bring you. But no matter where it is, you have a tremendous start from a tremendous place here at the University of North Carolina, Asheville. But this is far from the culmination of your journey. As you know, today is a commencement, which means beginning. And you all have been given and you've earned a great opportunity. This is your time. But as my grandmother would always tell me, there's only so many tomorrows. And what you choose to do from here is of the utmost importance. The 19th century educator, philosopher, and sociologist Herbert Spencer said, the great aim of education is not knowledge, but action. On October 26, 1963, less than four weeks before he'd be assassinated in Dallas, President John F. Kennedy was speaking at Amherst College at the dedication of uh, the Robert Frost Memorial Library. And he reminded everyone there in attendance that with privilege comes great responsibility. And whatever you do, and wherever you go from here, please keep in mind, that we're not here for ourselves. The two greatest days of your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why. And if we're to take Mark Twain's words to heart, that's the question, how do we find out why? Our world, our country, our communities have been challenged and changed throughout history by people that are no smarter than any of you. But that question again is, how do you find your true calling? Dr. Martin Luther King, Indira Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Steve Jobs, Jeff Bezos, none of them set out to change the world. They just set out and the world changed. We all know people who live lives of dedicated selfless service. But how do you find that in yourselves? I think it starts by asking one simple question. What do I have that I can give to the world? What talents, what interests, what skills do I have that can make the world or my community better? And I'm asked this question quite a bit, but how do you know when you find that? And I think that, believe it or not, is relatively simple too. I think you find your calling when your heart's desire meets a great need in the world. That's when you know you're in the right place, no matter how long it may take. I was fortunate a number of years ago to correspond with Mother Teresa. And I'll leave you with just, just this one story. And many of you know Mother Teresa uh, was the saint of the gutters, served the poorest of the poor around the world. And she uh, had related this story to me. In 1979, she won the Nobel Peace Prize. And a year later, she received a letter from a young lady who just graduated from Boston College. And she said, I've read about you, I've heard about you now, long before the days of the internet, I, and, but I am so moved by your work 
that I'm going to come to Calcutta. I'm going to give up everything. I'm going to come to Calcutta and work with you in serving the poorest of the poor. And Mother wrote her back and simply said, no. Then she went on to write, stay where you are. Find your own Calcutta. Find your calling right there, where you are, in your homes, in your families, in your workplaces, in your schools. You can find Calcutta all over the world if you just have the eyes to see. So much is written about finding your calling in life, finding what you're supposed to do. You will find it. I know what's said here today isn't going to stop the world from turning. It's not going to change the world. But it might change a heart a bit or cause you to take just one second to ask yourself that question, what do I have that I can give to the world? You will know it, you'll know your calling when your deepest heart's desire meets a great need. It's probably a lot closer than you think. And please remember there is nothing stronger in this world than kindness. So when you leave here, go show the world that you're strong. What will you do? To, what do you have that you can give the world as you leave here and uphold the reputation of this great university? Your Calcutta awaits. Thank you again for the great honor. Congratulations to all of you once again. You've made us all very proud, and you are just beginning. Thank you. Thank you, Bill, for your remarks and your inspiration. It's now my great pleasure to welcome our acting provost, Dr. Karen Peterson, to the podium for the conferring of degrees. It's time. <laughs> Since 1991, UNC Asheville has awarded a master's degree in the liberal arts, a unique offering in higher education. The interdisciplinary Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences program challenges students to explore the interconnectedness of the human condition. From the arts and humanities to the natural and social sciences, the MLAS degree is an extraordinary and important component of UNC Ash Asheville's liberal arts mission. Will the candidates for the Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences degree please stand? Interim Chancellor, Chancellor Ergo, these students are candidates for the master's degree and have been endorsed by the faculty and the registrar. I present them to you for the awarding of the degree. In recognition of your successful completion of the course of study and your fulfillment of requirements by vote of the university faculty with the approval of the Board of Trustees and the concurrence of the Board of Governors and by virtue of the authority vested in me by these boards in the state of North Carolina, I confer upon each of you the degree of Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences. You may please start to make your way forward. Will all of the candidates for the baccalaureate degree please stand? It's all of you. <laughs> Interim Chancellor Ergo, these students are candidates for the baccalaureate degree and have been endorsed by the faculty and the registrar. I present them to you for the awarding of degrees. In recognition of your completion of the course of study and your fulfillment of requirements, by vote of the university faculty, with the approval of the Board of Trustees and the concurrence of the Board of Governors, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by these boards and the state of North Carolina, I confer upon each of you, as appropriate, the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science and Engineering, or Bachelor of Science. You may now take your seat and will be called forward to the stage. Master of Liberal Arts and Sciences. 
Audra Ann Coleman. Zachary Lee Davis. Carla Marie Godet. Bachelor of Arts, Jennifer Bailey Abernathy. Tracy Ann Adams. Savannah Jessup Adams. Angel Faye Aguayo. Sophia Tweed Ahmad. Joshua Clinton Alexander. Hannah Lynn Anderson, summa cum laude. Rebecca Lee Andrews, magna cum laude. Allison May Antamarian. Anta Ray Mary, sorry. <laughs> John Philip Ashenbrenner. Samuel Stephen Baker. Chloe Elizabeth Bankson. Andrea Page Barlow. Jesse McCraw Barnett. Caroline Taylor Barrett. Layla Annie Bake Mahadi. James Patrick Belza, Magna Cum Laude. Margaret Bonner Benfield, cum laude. Michaela Rain Bennett, cum laude. Zoe Elizabeth Bergmeier Sweat. Alexander Robert Massal Burnett Jones. Brian Emerson Black. <laughs> Kayla Rain Black, magna cum laude. <laughs> Parker Louise Bobbitt, summa cum laude. <laughs> Mary Catherine Bolt, summa cum laude. <laughs> Julia Camille Bone. Madeline Faith Boone. <laughs> Jacob Brian Bradley. <laughs> Elijah Fareed Branch. <laughs> Natalie Celeste Branson. <laughs> Raymond Patrick Brewer Posey. Laura Elizabeth Breyer. Sarah Catherine Britton. Nathaniel Despain Brothers. Benjamin Ryan Brown. Casey Alexander Brown. Neva Kirsten Brown. 
Ruthanna Josephine Buchanan. Gwen Naris Burchell. James Andrew Burns. Tiana Janet Bush, summa cum laude. Ginger Michelle Buxeda, summa cum laude. Jamie Catherine Calabria. Casey James Camby. Victoria Paige Carlisle. Jonathan Charles Carpenter. Haley Jane Carringer. Chase Graham Carroll. Miles Anthony Carter, magna cum laude. Caleb Morgan Chauvin Payne, cum laude. Elijah Graham Choplin. Madeline Amanda Christopher, cum laude. Cody Morgan Clark. Charlotte Grace Clark, cum laude. Margaret Ellen Clerken, cum laude. Lindsay Brooke Klein. Nathaniel Taylor Cole. Sydney Elizabeth Cole, cum laude. Abigail Catherine Collins. Benjamin John Collins. Sarah Allison Combs. Zachary Hughes Compton. Yes, sir. Destiny Guffey Connor. Mitchell Alexander Connor. Cade Britt Cosper. Shelby Page Counts. Emily K. Cohen. Samuel Battle Claiborne Craig. Shona Jean Craig. Lindsay Ann Craven, magna cum laude. Jesse Crawford. Matthew David Crump, magna cum laude. Gabriel Rusick Dinoto. <laughs> Isabella Nikel Daniels. <laughs> Ana Luisa Lopez da Silva. <laughs> Margaret Elizabeth Dom. Amelie Emma Lindquist Davidson. Yeah, Amelie. Chase Philip Davis. Monica Rose Davis. Monica. Justin Matthew Day. Mariana Brambrilla de Oliveira, cum laude. Riley Noah DeLee. 
Natalie Kathleen Delp. Britt Athelston De Bartolo, magna cum laude. David Russell Dickerson, Jr. Michelle Eileen Dietz, cum laude. Annie Lorraine De Lorenzo. Josie Nicole Dixon, magna cum laude. Kaylin Gerard Dolman. Jordan Michael Dossett, magna cum laude. Austin Wayne Dowdy, magna cum laude. Cornelius Johannes Duplisi. Carrie Elizabeth Dunn, magna cum laude. Barry Franklin Ecker, summa cum laude. Holly Marie Edmondson. Colton Edward Emery. David Joseph Eron. Jessica Lynn Griffin Ferro. Gabriella Judith Feinstein. Larry Aaron Lee Ferguson. Lindsay Mariah Fercal, magna cum laude. Emmanuel Figaro, cum laude. Daniel Mark Fistos. Bronasia Nairi King Fitzgerald. Caitlin Ash Flint. Sarah Elizabeth Forshe. Alex Christopher Fraser. Connor Stephen Fur, William Sherwood Gamble, Oscar Galileo Gamboni Steading, magna cum laude, Christine Danielle Gendy, cum laude. Graylin Monroe Gibson. Giovanni Paolo Gironda. Hunter Douglas Gomes, magna cum laude. Cy Hunter Gourlay. Yes, sir. Olivia Simone Brown Graham. Rebecca Joy Gray. Leah Michelle Griffin, cum laude. Jatsiri Guadarrama Santana. Amba Forrest Gagarian, summa cum laude. Cora Ann Hacker. Woo! Melody Elizabeth Rose Hager. Amanda Joy Hagstrom. Emily Bell Handley. Marjorie Jean Hansen. Jasmine Victoria Harper. Yeah. 
Emmanuel Levi Hartman, summa cum laude. Michal Dana Harward. Nicholas Alexander Hasseloff. Samuel Jackson Hedges. Emily Elizabeth Henderson. Madeline Jacqueline Hendley, magna cum laude. Grace Paige Hennard. Madeline Annette Heron, cum laude. Sarah Ann Lucy Hesselink. Lillian Elizabeth Henson. Calla Rose Hinton. Laura Christine Hoffman. Addison Paul Hoggard, summer, summa cum laude. Samuel Gray Holder, magna cum laude. Sammy. Walter Samuel Holton, cum laude. Let's go, Sammy! Lillian Tara Hunter. <laughs> Timothy Bruce, Bruce Hussey. <laughs> Jesse Rain Lazone Ingham. Harry Ann Jarvis. Tana Ray Jan Johnson, magna cum laude. Jeremy Ross Jones. David Lamb Jordan. Nefertiti Karismida. Larissa Ann Carr. Sean Michael Katzman. Margaret Grace Kennedy, magna cum laude. Shannon Alexis Kennedy. Estelle Kimsey White, magna cum laude. Jonah Freeman Cleaver. Brittany Monet Klutz. Gray Wolf Lejoie. Michael no Noah Lanier. Jeffrey Michael Lauer, magna cum laude. Alexandra Elizabeth Laws. Sarah Elizabeth Leard, cum laude. Gretchen C. Ledford, magna cum laude. Benjamin Alexander Lemley. Noah Hamilton Lentz. Nicholas Raphael Leone. Gabriela Demetra Livanos. Justine Ray Lockhart, cum laude. Andrew Taylor Long. Margaret Madison Lowe. Rachel Aaron Luce. Anna Hayes Madison. Yeah. 
Mason Alexander Magruder. Brian Alex Marks. Eva Caroline Marsh, summa cum laude. Brianna Caitlin Majewski. Rachel Ann Maynard. Maggie Jane McDermott, cum laude. Tyler Hartman McDevitt. Ryan Banks McGinn, summa cum laude. <laughs> Meredith Evan McLean, summa cum laude. Sydney Raquel McCroy. Sarah Rose Mendelson, magna cum laude. Good job, Sarah. Suzanne Iris Meredith. Heidi Ann Muhlenberg, magna cum laude. Arlen Shay Milner, cum laude. Rachel Nicole Minton. Kerrigan K. Monk, cum laude. Mark Andrew Monroe. Haley Meredith Morris. Anna Rebecca Murphy. Shane Taylor Myers Bennett. Courtney Lynn Neighbor. Magna cum Emily Elizabeth Navarro. Magna cum laude. Jillian Rochelle Nelson. Pageant Quinn Neville, summa cum laude. Kaylee Alexandra Nichols, summa cum laude. Bailey Bren O'Gara, cum laude. Carrie Elizabeth O'Hearn. Nicholas Brian Patrick O'Leary. Jessica Monet Olin. Maxwell Joseph Oley, cum laude. Michaela Noel O'Neill, cum laude. Sarah Nicole Palmer. Emma Friend Piram, summa cum laude. Mary Amelia Pete, summa cum laude. Olivia Britt Patterson, summa cum laude. Tia Michelle Patterson. Lindsay Marie Perry, magna cum laude. Helena Petrovic. Raina Shanae Farr. Lisa Michelle Piacese. Logan Keith Ponder. Benjamin Mariner Pope. Caitlin Dorothy Porter, summa cum laude. Abigail Lee Powell. Yeah, Megan. Megan Louise Powell. Jessica Ann Presley. Jonathan Morgan Price. Brandon Lanier Priester, cum laude. Alexandria Sarah Q. 
Cuvedo. <laughs> Hana Nubia Rakshani. Dion Marie Rank. Brooke Elizabeth Randall. Kendall Elizabeth Rankin. Tyler Nettles Ray. Oliver Sylvia Richards, magna cum laude. Travis William Richardson, summa cum laude. Zachary Luis Riley. Kendra Renee Risley. Jessica Caitlin Ritchie. Kyra Nicole Roberson, cum laude. Alden Lynn Roberts, cum laude. Let's go, Sammy. Samuel Clayton Robinson. Yes, Sammy! Andrea Rubles Leon. Ekaterina Rodriguez. Emma Caitlin Rogers. Miranda Rose Rosen. Alejandra Glia Sanchez Garcia. Mackenzie Emma Sanders, magna cum laude. Trilby Marie Toy Sauer. Samantha Jane Savory, cum laude. Kendall Alexis Shank. Will Warren Shearhorn. Victoria Lynn Schutte. Danielle Joy Selix. Michaela Dawn Selix. Anna Carolina Scott. Liana Maria Marie Seal. Emily Shaw, cum laude. Emily Allison Shea, summa cum laude. Meredith Peyton Sheehan. Molly Ann Sheehan. Dalton Riley Shepard. Caitlin Lee Shearing, Shiring. Avian Noel Schreiner, summa cum laude. Sky Smith. Benjamin Evan Snow. Allison Marie Schneider, cum laude. Emily Elizabeth Spees, magna cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Lee Spring. Eston Lewis Steflick Fabek, cum laude. <laughs> Abigail Catherine Stevens, summa cum laude. <laughs> Wesley Joel Stroop. Evan Sturgis, cum laude. Marceline Gray Swan. Leventi Sabo, magna cum laude. Lauren Marie Tapp. Madison 
Bailey Taylor. Brittany Ann Thomas. Tara Courtney Thompson. Noah Gregory Tittle. Samuel Shelor Tamaka. Mary Ann Topper, cum laude. Liz Marie Torres. <laughs> Stephanie Allen Towsey. <laughs> Jessica Ann Troger. <laughs> Addison Marie Tyler. <laughs> Taylor Megan Clark Valley. Coronada Maria Vasquez Moore. <laughs> Joseph Albert Vassar. Rachel Daniela Vera. Cody Renee Varen. Elizabeth Rose Walker, magna cum laude. Alana Warshawski. Lauren Bradley Watson. Kyla Ashley Webb. Amber Fauerbach Weintraub. Sean Edward Welch. Emily R. Worth. Kathleen Dakota White, cum laude. Lyric Kier Whitener. Aiden Whitney Johnson, summa cum laude. Brandon Allen Widener, cum laude. Danielle Lisbeth Marie Weiner, summa cum laude. Madeline Rachel Wiggins. Erica Kate Williams. Miranda Morgan Wood, cum laude. William Breckenridge Wood II. Jacob Frost Woodhouse. Dale Hoji Wright, cum laude. Philip Tyler Wyatt. Christina S. Young. Daniel Christopher Zeitlin, summa cum laude. Delia Beck Zietlo, cum laude. Samira Jordan Zubi, cum laude. And now the candidates for a Bachelor of Fine Arts. Kaylee Michelle Calhoun, magna cum laude. Joseph Anthony Esposito. Lily Sheffield Furness, cum laude. Juan Veda Laplante, magna cum laude. Ashley Ann Lounsbury. Jacob Allen Secor Cum Laude. And now the candidates for Bachelor of Science in Engineering, a degree awarded jointly by UNC Asheville and North Carolina State University. Abigail March Agus, Magna Cum Laude. Sam Thomas Beeler. <laughs> Jacob Lloyd Fink. Evan. William Frank. Ethan Timmel Gammons. Matthew Morgan Guile, magna cum laude. Jeremy Daniel Golden. Brittany Marie Hand, magna cum laude.
Jesse Devon Judai, cum laude. Andrew Scott Mandeville, cum laude. Eliza Jimson Nonamaker. Daniel Michael Nunez, Jr. Nathan Daniel Page, cum laude. Fiona Regina Pop. Zoe Rose Rorvig. Paul Vladimirovich Svetlov. Caitlin Nicole Thomas. Got you. Kyle David Ward. Joseph Paul Zayats. And now the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science. Rebecca Lane Alexander. Okay, Jackson. Jackson Elijah Allen. Yeah, Jackson! You made it! April Louise Ammons, magna cum laude. <laughs> Bianca Renee Andre. Maria Elise Angel. Dean Edward Arbuckle. Marley Maria Arteta. Magna cum laude. Emily Ruth Angst. Labria Simone Baird. Jacob Wesley Ballou. Forrest Daniel Baudet. Julia Grace Bennett. Chilton Luther Birdwhistle. Douglas Ryan Black. Justin Eugene Blankenship. Amelia Ann Bogan. Leah Marie Boothelet, magna cum laude. Jacqueline Lauren Bolin. Nicholas Michael Boyles. Walter Evan Brown. Grant Allen Buckner, magna cum laude. Nicholas Robert Bump. Tanner Michael Bush. Nicholas Pierce Cameron, summa cum laude. Brianna Lynn Carberry. Nicholas Hunter Carl, summa cum laude. Sean Michael Carter. Richard William Cecil. Erica Daniel Cernuda. Benjamin Hannon Chapel. Jacob Christopher Chapel. Kristen Michelle Clay. Dominic Roy Colicchio. Ellen Ann Coward. 
Madeline McClelland Crow. Cassidy Alexandria Dale. Kebe Luke Davari Nejad. Danielle Paige Davis. <laughs> Alexandra Christine Day. Gretchen Dubree Detlinger. Jonathan Charles Deutsch, cum laude. Keller Elizabeth Dixon, magna cum laude. Rachel Ann Drake. Katharina Marie Dubianski. George Alexander Dubois. Michael Keith Dubose. Rachel Gabrielle Dunn Cum Laude. Kelly Nicole Early. Ariana Athetha. Brooke Aileen Eichenlob, cum laude. Mary Elena Elmasian. Carlin B. Emerson, magna cum laude. Cameron Mackenzie Evans. Laura Ann Fanatico, cum laude. Monica Felipe Leonardo. Renita Candace Fields. Alacy Octavia Floyd. Randy Elizabeth Fawcett. Coriel Friedman. Jordan Riley Fulbright. Daniel Paul Gallimore, summa cum laude. Henry McCord Gates. Andrea Marie Jenna. Mui Lang Gui, summa cum laude. Marissa Camille Gibson. Carrie Rose Fisher. Chase Scott Graham, summa cum laude. David Andrew Hager. <laughs> Meredith Julia Hale. <laughs> Shannon Nicole Hollowell. <laughs> Tess Elizabeth Handy, magna cum laude. <laughs> Alexander Mason Hasler. Lisa Ann Hosner. Elijah Stephen Hawley. Mitchell Ensley Hefner, cum laude. Shannon Kyle Herlihy, cum laude. Amanda Whitney Hoyerman Thomas. 
Ty Austin Higginbotham. Scotty Hill. Jodat Ziad Hindi. William Spencer Henson. Brett Aubrey Hoyleman. Ben Fred House III. Caroline Allen Hauser, magna cum laude. Emma Anderson Hauser, magna cum laude. Catherine Elizabeth Houston. Jackie Ray Hoyle. Austin William Huber. Catherine Ann Hudson. Jack Newman Huffines III. Elizabeth Ann Hunt, magna cum laude. Caitlin Renee Einat. Shelby Renita Ingram. Allison Parker Irvin. Turf Fitzgerald Jackson, Jr. William Russell Jackson. Brooke Lauren Johnson. Bryson Allen Jones. Ronald Allen Keller. Molly Rebecca Kelly. Jennifer Nicole Kessel. Nathan Patrick Kearse. Anna Jen Kligerman. Hunter Rochi Coque, cum laude. Megan Barbara Kowalczyk, magna cum laude. Julia Marie Krebs Moberg, cum laude. Shannon Grace Lilly. Nathan Samuel Lasala. Andrew Quinn Lawrence. Deborah Miriam Lawrence. William Andrew Lee. Nelson St. George Leonard. Brianna Cherie Lloyd. Logan Mark Lueck. <laughs> Brian Davis Mann. Lauren Alexa Martin. Rachel Rose Massa. Talon Michael Mays. Amanda Michelle McCauley. Ryan Alyssa McGreal. Ashley Faye McMahon. Charles Anthony Menifee, Jr. 
Brooke Mackenzie Miller. Raekwon Osborne Miller. Lisa Aaron Mills Cum Laude. Anna Sophie Mitchell. Yuri Alex Moyasayev. James Arthur Moore. Samantha Taylor Moore, cum laude. Brianna Idalis Morales. Joshua Aaron Moyer. Rogers Andrew Muldrow, Jr. Christopher Bradley Munden. Elizabeth Marie Murray, cum laude. Ganjina Nanzibekova, cum laude. Joseph Bryant Natel. Melina Lonnie Robertson Navarez. Lance Burton Neighbors. Cameron Jane Nelson. Grace June Ping Nicholas Morris, magna cum laude. Katie Nicole Nisley, cum laude. Morgan Page Noble. Christina Charity Nutt. Saradwen Christiana O'Connor. Samuel Emmert O'Donnell. Dean Patrick O'Keefe. Daniel Anthony Pagliaro, magna cum laude. Brittany Lynn Parham. Emma Dawn Parker, cum laude. Samantha Blair Parker, cum laude. Chitanya Patel, magna cum laude. Hannah James Phillips. Anna, sorry. Alec Grayson Piersga. Hayden Walker Pohl. Caitlin Elizabeth Potit, summa cum laude. Ashling Waldron Power, magna cum laude. Caitlin Nicole Preby. Carly Allison Raymond. Frederick Maurice Render. Dylan Nelson Rivera. Christopher James Roberts. Whitney Nicole Rooks. Edwin Alexander Rubio Cum Laude. Dylan Riles Hamilton, Magna Cum Laude. Connor William Ryan, Magna Cum Laude. Liubov. Cote Satchel. 
Hunter Monroe Skaggs. Madeline Alexandra Shear. Phoebe Catherine Schneider, summa cum laude. Melinda K. Shaneman, summa cum laude. Emily Marie Sermersheim. Talia Joy Service, magna cum laude. Virginia Royal Schaefer, cum laude. Jenna Maurice Scharitz. Lauren Ann Schell, cum laude. Jack Paver Sherman. Abigail O'Connor Sigmund. Laura Elizabeth Slagle. Connor Scott Thomas Smith. Stephanie Lynn Smith. Madeline Rose Snyder. Sarah Elizabeth Spanbauer, cum laude. Samuel Landon Sprinkle. Felix Valentine Stith. Rebecca Blaine Stowe. Maya Brooks Sugg, cum laude. Megan Catherine Suggs, magna cum laude. Kimberly Lauren Suit. Shannon Margaret Switch. Nikolas Kiriakou Tarsidas. Hanitua. Ashley Tiai. Emilio Christopher Teixeira. Kirsten Elizabeth Thiel. Ahmad Lavar Thomas. Zachary Mark Thompson. Tina Marie Tilstra. Pagnia Reach Tin. Kenny Khan Tram, magna cum laude. Niguen Train. Cum laude. Stephen Lewis Trotter. Kirill Sarapkin. Katie Elizabeth Torto. Ellen Marie Udovichik. Kevin Mark Venata, summa cum laude. Glory Yvonne Vanover. Joel Andrew Vickers. David Mark Warren, cum laude. Samantha Elizabeth Watkins. Andrew Russell Watson. Michael James Way, magna cum laude. Janet May Weaver. 
Lila Ann Welsh. Benjamin Christian West. Brian Nathan White, cum laude. Dennis Patrick White, Jr. Nicholas Farrell White. Daquan Dante Williams. Alec Richard Winook. Brittany Denise Woods. Kiki Yetman. Donald Michael Young II, cum laude. Olivia Marie Godfrey, summa cum laude. Class of 2018, I hereby confer the degree upon you and ask if you would mind moving your tassels. I'd like, I'd like now to address the class of 2018 directly to offer my charge to you as UNC Asheville's newest alumni class. Let's start with some insider talk about the liberal arts degree you have just earned. You know, there are much easier ways to go about getting a college degree. You don't have to do a senior capstone course or undergraduate research project. You don't have to explore arts and ideas or follow a four-year sequence in the humanities, no matter what your major. You don't have to pursue expertise in the field of inquiry with a thousand-year record of human thought or take classes where your active, in-person, face-to-face participation is expected, required, and assessed. No, there are easier ways if all you want is a line on your resume and a job. In our culture of instant gratification and life hacks from everything from grilled cheese to, life to cell phone batteries, and don't try those together. It's no wonder the liberal arts is under attack from some quarters. It's the most challenging way to get a college degree. It's how you get the degree while also acquiring deep and lasting expertise, habits of thought, and a temperament of curiosity. You did not settle for superficial job training or for the fast track to a place, any place, in the workforce. You wanted and you got a greater challenge. What you have earned cannot be taken away. It can never be outdated, only reaffirmed and cultivated. You, members of UNC Asheville's class of 2018, you are not simply members of this nation's workforce, with all the quiet desperation that that implies. You are members of our national critical thought force. Can you remember when you were in class, an instance, and the discussion was going one way, until you or a classmate said or asked something and the professor reacted, I mean, really reacted, asked the student to say more, got up, wrote on the board, got real excited. The conversation shifted, and the student was somewhat dumbfounded, but yes, wasn't that pretty cool? That's the critical thought force in action. That's your thought force training. You have this preparation. You are a member of your generation's thought force. Cultivate it. Keep reading. Keep learning. Keep asking. Ask your professor which books to put on your lifelong reading list, which websites to frequent, which subscriptions to maintain. Within this thought force are the change makers of the future, the minds that don't understand why that's the way we have always done it, who ask again and insist on the fundamental questions about equity and fairness and decency, who have the long view in a short-sighted environment. You must live, surely, in one of the noisiest eras of human history, you are bombarded by electronic vies for your attention, and at all moments, you yourself may become the object of someone else's posting, tweet, or Instagram. 
Everybody's always looking for the fast track, the easy way, the latest thing. How exciting. But alas, human life takes time. If there is something we have accomplished in offering you a liberal arts education, one informed by that sense of having been liberated, it is my hope and expectation that you are able to see past the hype and the hucksterism of the marketplace. That you are aware of major trends in human history, forces that define us, influence our lives, and that you are aware that every moment contains a multitude of potential directions, interpretations, and discoveries. This potential is there to be created. You will create the future because you're able to think these challenges from multiple perspectives and viewpoints. My charge to you is that you take your role in the thought force seriously, apply it when called on to do so, and continue to cultivate it. There is no doubt that you will need to apply and cultivate your critical thought force skills. We face large, complicated, intractable problems, climate change, violence in our schools, inaccessible health care, racial inequities, income disparities, infrastructure collapse, global tensions and hostilities. Continuing to apply the same kind of thinking that got us into these predicaments won't get us out. We need a critical thought force that moves nimbly from one way of thinking to another, testing, failing, trying again, moving forward towards solutions and continuous collaborations with others in rapid fire social and political context, moving quickly from street to cloud, from social media to social movement. Cultivating this thought force is not a mere suggestion, it's an expectation, it's a charge. And we raise these expectations in you, the graduating class of 2018, for our future and for our shared humanity. Class of 2018, please stand together. By virtue of the authority vested in me by UNC Asheville Board of Trustees, the UNC Board of Governors, the great state of North Carolina, I proclaim you graduates of the University of North Carolina at Asheville. At this time, I welcome Logan Lueck back to the platform to lead us in singing the alma mater. The words are printed on your program. Please remain standing. Please join me in our alma mater. Hail alma mater, hail UNCA. Learning be your watchword, greatness be your way. High up on the mountains, in the land of sky, stands our alma mater. Lift your voices high, noble alma mater, hear our words of praise. May we love and honor you until the end of day. Thank you again, Logan. Congratulations once again to the class of 2018. Please share today's celebration with your faculty and student affairs members. Signs are located at the back of the quad to indicate where you can meet your respective faculty and student affairs members. I would ask you to please remain standing until the platform party has exited and our graduates have recessed. Have a wonderful day.